Yeah, the atmosphere is starting to build lovely over here. And um, we all know big fight weeks over here. You see all the uh, Canelo GGG number three t-shirts being sold on the streets and everything. And all the posters, you know, when you're driving into Vegas, the big lights and it's getting very, getting very exciting over here. I actually held back um, last week on looking at the previews and the face-to-face and all the interviews until I got here and I'm really in the buzz for it now and can't wait for the fight on Saturday night. Canelo is obviously coming off a defeat that I'm sure that he didn't expect and that, you know, everyone else didn't expect. But Bivol is very similar to Usyk. He's Eastern European, doesn't speak too much in the media, is very kind of hidden, but his talent is unbelievable. Like Dimitri Bivol was around the exact same time I was around in the European world circuit as an amateur, and he was cleaning up left, right and centre. Like he was an unbelievable talent. And I knew his boxing skill and his footwork, his time and everything would be on point and give Canelo a lot of baller, which it did. And he got the victory. So it all depends now how Canelo can bounce back from this because it's not a defeat from a big name. It's not a defeat that, you know, he could just rematch right away and make millions again. It's all going to be how Canelo takes this fight mentally Um, because I seen there in a statement that he released that he didn't get beat by the better fighter and Bivoli got beat because he didn't give it 100%. You know, people can look at that two ways and be like, oh, there's the answer or people can look at, well, well, why did he not give it a hundred percent? You know, so this is all dependent on Canelo's headspace. I think he's proven to us through the years, how much of an athlete, how much of a professional that he really is. And I think Golovkin's getting in here with less pressure on his shoulders than ever before, because a lot of people I'm hearing now is just, ah, Canelo is going to knock him out. Canelo is going to stop him, which I don't think it's going to be possible on Saturday night. And I think that this is Golovkin's probably last sing song here now on Saturday night. But we all know the type of Golovkin. He's not a man, and I don't think he ever will be a man to get in there and just for the payday. You know, Golovkin's going to go in here, and if he wins this, I think he's going to wave goodbye to the, the boxing game and go off into the sunshine. But, you know, it definitely is a big ask. I watched his fight when he boxed uh, Murata, the Japanese lad for the WBA regular world title. And the first four or five rounds, I thought Murata was going to clean him out. You know, was getting hit a lot. Wasn't really giving nothing back. Looked like a deflated fighter. But all of a sudden, Murata started to tire. Golovkin's power started to come through. And he got the job done. He got the job done in a very good fashion. So this still is a 50-50 fight. You know, this still is a hard fight to call. Um, but I'm definitely edging towards Canelo because of the stages of their career and because Canelo is coming off a loss. Canelo, I think, is a bit of a hard loser and he's going to really try to show and prove a point here uh, against Golovkin now in the, in the third trilogy fight. Yeah, I think that this is going to be a very similar fight uh, to the second fight. Um, You know, a lot of people says that Golovkin could have won the second fight. I didn't really see it that way. I thought Canelo did nick the fight. It was close, but if I was giving it to anybody, I would have given it to Canelo. I think there's going to be a similar fight. I can't see Canelo getting in there and completely whitewashing Golovkin out of there. And I can't see Golovkin doing the same. It's going to be very touch and, touch and go throughout the fight. But I do see Canelo coming out maybe 6-4, to 7-3. Or no, sorry, it's 12-round fight. So... You know, I, I really do see Canelo coming out a unanimous decision winner in this in points. I think he's going to shave and nick rounds throughout the fight. Golovkin will be successful in a couple of the rounds. But I definitely think that Canelo is going to be the the younger, fresher man. And he's going to nick too many rounds on Golovkin. I think he's going to really, you know, put on a masterclass to prove a point that he got beaten his last fight that he's back and he means business. And I can see this fight going with a Canelo unanimous decision one. You know, like I am the type of person that I really, because I'm such a boxing man, that I really love to sit at home kind of quiet and watch it on TV. But mega fights like these, the atmosphere is unbelievable. It's in the T-Mobile arena. You know, I have fought there before myself and it's going to be, it's going to be interesting going back in there now and uh, feeling those little 
butterflies, those little bit of excitement in the belly again. And, you know, as it says, big fights like this, the atmosphere here in Vegas is going to be electric.